Waldo Simon plasticized PVC by accident. It's another story of how coincidence and accidents led to the introduction of new polymers, plastics or modifications, such as the case with PVC. So PVC is not a, a, a new polymer. It was already introduced in 1872. However, there were only co a limited commercial applications because it is extreme rigid. Then in 1926, Waldo Simon, while trying to dehydrohalogenate PVC in a high boiling solvent in order to obtain a rubbery polymer, because he wanted to uh, bond it to metal, he produced what is now called plasticized PVC. So it's a, a flexible inert product and it is the, the major reason for the huge commercial success of PVC. And later, under the trademark of Corosil, the company Goodrich uh, made the plastic into uh, shock absorber seals, electric wire insulation, and also for shoes uh, or coated cloth products, just the raincoats. So there it really uh, took off then. So it's a really interesting story. Again, by accident and in, um, it played a role uh, here. And now we have one of the uh, most used um, commercial plastics. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.